What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Nintendo Land and today we have another rumor coming from Nash Weedle on Twitter. Now Nash Weedle has gotten some things right in the past and seems to be more on the reliable side but of course take everything with a grain of salt of course until we hear it from the Red Bird. But of course I bring this information up simply due to the fact that it's very interesting and I think a lot of people would want to hear this. So apparently the next Animal Crossing game has been rumored and we actually have a good chunk of information about what this game is going to be and what to expect. But apparently it's coming in the year of 2026 which makes a lot of sense because Animal Crossing New Horizons came out in 2020 which will give it six years of development time but Nash Weedle on Twitter states leak express the next Animal Crossing is in development and it will be an ultimate version which is pretty interesting the game concepts will be move around controlling vehicles large city with skyscrapers adventure missions puzzles and mini games more collaborative multiplayer date 2026 along with a series Series, which I don't know what that means. Is it like a TV series or something else coming out with it? I, I don't know. It also states some of these concepts are discarded from the last game and new monetary system within the game, a large shopping center where you can have your own store and sell your designs to other users such as furniture store, clothing store, vehicle workshop, etc. And for the final batch of information, there will be a separate city completely online to interact with connected users, mini games, vehicle races, cake throwing, celebrate birthdays, mouse hunt, yeah, and it just goes on and on and on. This stuff sounds like it's like literally being pulled from files or something. And then goes on to say, this is the basis that was started in a creative brainstorming prior to the start of development. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's a lot of information. So let's go piece by piece and talk about, you know, what exactly they're talking about here. So first off, it says move around controlling vehicles. Now, this just sounds awesome. I think that's one thing that I've really wanted from Animal Crossing and never even really realized it. And most of the reasons because you never had a big enough area to need a vehicle. Like, for instance, the islands in New Horizons were not that big. Uh, so, yeah, you didn't need a vehicle. But I would love, like, a bike, maybe a little moped to drive around on or maybe, a, like, a little my own little car that I can park in a garage you can build garages and stuff would be pretty phenomenal uh, but obviously that wouldn't be really good unless it was part of a city game and of course that's the next thing saying it's going to be a large city with skyscrapers so it sounds like they're going more along the lines of city folk back on the gamecube but obviously even that game didn't have giant skyscrapers and wasn't really feeling like a modern rustling bustling city like new york or something along those lines so maybe that's what they're doing is taking that idea and just completely blowing it out of proportion and just taking all the great things from new horizons in the past games and just building it up to a grand scale city based game which actually sounds pretty cool I can't lie and then being able to like drive cars around it would be so cool um, but apparently there's gonna be adventure missions puzzles and mini games this is interesting now this is something I actually really like because it adds some substance to the game I feel like right now that was my biggest complaint as New Horizons was my first Animal Crossing game my biggest complaint was it didn't feel like there was like stuff that I needed to do it was just stuff that I could do and that didn't really keep me coming back or keep me doing things like the only thing I found really interesting was like collecting all the fish and you know creatures and stuff for my museum um so to have actual story missions to progress because I think the only story you had was the first like couple of hours learning how to do everything in the game and then like at the end you'll get like some credits which then is like okay now go do whatever you want you know just kind of learning the basics so I hope there's like actual stuff that you have to do such as missions like it says but it seems there's gonna be like puzzles and mini games and stuff like that that sounds pretty cool maybe like some Mario Party mini games that you could create or play with friends and stuff on your islands or in your city rather would be really cool and I can't help but think of amiibo festival I know people are gonna just torch me for this yes it was a terrible game but but listen, at the same time, imagine having like little board games or mini games that you could play as part of a whole full Animal Crossing game. I think that was the problem is that they didn't even give us an Animal Crossing game on the Wii U. It was just like, here's this little bad party game that dealed with Amiibo. But imagine like a actual board game that you can just, you know, set up and play in a full-fledged Animal Crossing game already. So that way, you know, you can set up mini games, play little games and stuff with your friends and stuff instead of just, hey, come to my island, look what I have. You can actually do things with your friends and have better interactions, which I think is a perfect idea. But also, apparently, there's going to be more collaborative multiplayer, which 
pretty much just goes along with the missions and stuff. That just makes sense. More things to do with friends besides just look at each other's towns or look at each other's cities. Um, but yeah, coming in 2026, I said that already sounds perfect. I don't know what the series things mean. Uh, maybe there's some type of show or something as well coming out or something. I, I don't know. But apparently there's going to be a new monetary system. So is it not going to be Bells? Is Tom Nook still here? Who knows how that's going to work? Um, that's not a big deal. You know, I'm sure like it's just going to change slightly. Maybe it has like more paper money this time around and you have to keep track of your bills or uh, I don't know uh, but a large shopping center where you can have your own store and sell your own designs and I love the idea of a furniture store the clothing store and even the vehicle workshop sounds so cool we have been so used to just going to the villager stores and stuff but we can actually open up our own store this time around and maybe even invite friends over and sell them some of our products or do you know services for them they could bring their car into your garage and maybe you can soup it up like real cool put on a paint job and stuff and they can pay you for that oh my goodness that would be so crazy like they could drop their car off and just like leave their switch and just go do something else and then come back to their switch and then like when you're done you know you can actually charge for it like how much you want to charge for that you know that work that they did on your car or that furniture that they bought or something like that and you could actually like have a whole in-game market like this would be kind of insane just thinking about it now it also talks about a separate city completely online to interact with connected users um, and play these mini games vehicle races cake throwing for celebrate birthdays and mouse hunt whatever that is um, that's all cool I really don't know what they mean by a separate city like maybe there's just like one you know already pre-built city uh, that you can just go and do all these mini games in and stuff like that uh, compared to also seeing the city of your friends and stuff like you know this is a completely separate thing like a small city where you guys can all meet up in one centralized location play mini games do races and stuff that sounds like a lot of fun once again just really hammering down on that multiplayer aspect instead of just looking at each other's towns or cities you can actually play with each other once again this is great uh, but then goes on to finally say this is the basis that was started in a creative brainstorming prior to the start of development so lots of these could just be concepts um, and not actually happening or some of them could be in you know incorporated within the final game it's hard to say but this is sounding perfect i think this is the absolute perfect move to make you know more online focus more multiplayer focus moving into a city because we've already did like the whole island lifestyle and stuff this is just great and i think this is definitely something that the new switch is definitely going to need um and if the switch is coming in 2025 that new switch uh, this will be year two of the switch which is perfect i think with animal crossing new horizons being so huge a big thanks to the quarantine but with it being so huge there's so many eyes for the next animal crossing and people are going to be so excited for this thing they just definitely need to keep updating this game because i know a lot of people got mad that they stopped sending out updates to new horizons so keep updating this game for years and years like you're doing with splatoon 3 but a lot better than what they're doing with splatoon 3 and i think people are going to absolutely love this thing but let me know in the comments down below do you think this is real do you think this is fake are you just going to wait of course take it all with a grain of salt but let me know how excited you are and what you would like to see in the next animal crossing and if any of these things really just tickle your fancy I, I don't know I'm, I'm sorry but also something else I want to add real quick is terraforming I wonder if terraforming would return in some sort of way even though we're in a city now like maybe it's like all construction and you're like you know digging in construction sites and stuff so maybe it still is and you could just build up on the land terraforming is awesome it was one of the greatest things they've ever added I wouldn't know because I never played the past Animal Crossings but I can just tell you it was a blast playing with in, in New Horizons but yeah Anyways, make sure you leave a like and subscribe before you head out. Let me know what you're excited about the most, what you want to happen, what you don't want to happen. If you think this is true, if not, let me know everything small, big, and in between. But thank you so much for tuning in. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.